Hey guys, Zero here again, and welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution. So, uh, hoping I'll get this finished up today. I don't really know how long the game is, that's the thing, and I know this is where I'm supposed to be going next, but give me a second. Oh! Dang it, I should have seen that coming. Well, how's that for some early fails? <laughs> that wasn't even an enemy, that was a stupid mine. Oh, that, that kind of makes me mad, I don't know. Actually, no, we're not going to waste any of that. Give me a second. We're going to do this smart. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So, I do know from my previous playthrough, I ran over here, and this is the only place I checked out in the previous playthrough that I didn't show was over here. So... I gather from this that they were probably trying to hold back all of the crazy people that were going after them with their augments and whatnot. So that's, you know, that's, that's why they set up all this water. They flooded the area and they filled it with electricity in hopes of stopping all the crazy people. And that guy was trying to gun him down. And I think that was his buddy that was supposed to be in that room with him. And they didn't make it together. Ah, oh, okay, so we're in the hangar bay now, I guess. Any goodies? Nope. <clears throat> Hopefully we don't have too many people going crazy trying to attack us. At least I don't have to worry about being quiet now. Probably. Because all these people that we usually fight have augments, so they've all probably gone insane and either killed themselves or killed somebody else and got themselves killed. Not something we really need to worry about too much. Dang. Someone forgot to take the pallets out before. Pritchard. We were out in NTA's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the manual. From up in the tower. I got it. Ah, so we have to go up to the top of the tower, override all the lock seals, and then go down to the bottom. So I bet we're just going to have to fight our way up the tower until we get to the top, and then we'll take, like, one special elevator that takes us straight to the bottom in, like, three seconds. That's just my guess. Ooh, more goodies. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. We are not leaving painkillers. We will be leaving. Machine pistol rounds. And... Typhoon, because we don't have that either. And sniper rifle. No, no. No, don't move it. Drop it. There you go. And revolver. I'll probably start only picking up the ammo that I can use now. Probably. Oh man, this thing got violent in here. Oh well. I get a Cyber Boost Energy Jar. Oh snap. You got anything good on you? What about you? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't shoot the screen with your peps energy pack. Oh, snap, people are, probably with my strength augment, we're throwing around these machines. Missed one, though. Ooh, yay! Hope there's an air vent I can climb into soon. Over here, maybe? Oh, it looks like we got somebody that's actually up. I can see them on my thing. Doug, I'm witnessing some of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. Something terrible is happening here. Panchea has erupted into complete mayhem. Augmented workers are running amok, writhing in pain, and senselessly attacking everything in their path. I do not know what is going on, but it appears their augments are turning against them. I can see several afflicted people nearby. Soldiers, I think, from the... 
dot dot dot. That's kind of that's kind of creepy. Oh, it's just a tiny little. What is the purpose of this room? Okay, okay, tell me this. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I was worried that this didn't go anywhere. I was worried this is where it ended. I was gonna say there's no fans in here. There's no nothing, but I guess it does make a little bit of sense. Forgive me, game. Forgive me for doubting you for this one brief moment. Oh no, we got a crazy guy over here. I don't like crazy people. What's that? Oh, it's just a fridge. Hiding a vent. Wait. So we have cans of looks like chicken noodle soup. Tomato soup. Yes. Tomato soup. In here. And sweet peas. Interesting. Alright, let's proceed forward and maybe we can get a glimpse into this room before we actually have to go in it. Oh, nope, nope, it's right here. If he goes at us, we're just going to shoot him. Okay, okay, I need a plan. A plan! When, when we go in, and I'm going to take him from the outside, and then I'll be able to... I don't believe I'm supposed to be placing my hands inside of him. That was good, though. We got the crazy worker down without having to resort to using any of my ammunition, which is something I was looking forward to, and... Oh wow, there's no door in here. Oh, there is a door, it's just blocked. I was about to start complaining about how in the world could they expect me to get in here without a door if the only message was that. Uh-oh. Oh, so this is talking about the lockdown, and this is talking about the code for the lockdown. I see it, Mommy? What? If it's an automated message, why does it say that? Okay. It's a little weird. Boxes! I smite thee. Yeah, but, uh... That's what I was talking about. If, like, there was no way in here other than through that air vent, then I would have been annoyed. But there actually was a door, so it makes sense if you think about it. Like, I don't, I don't mind having a blocked door and having to come in through an air vent. I just hate it whenever they make, like, a room that has no purpose. Like, you'll find sometimes in video games, you'll find, like, a random room that's just, like, has one door, but it isn't for anything. And, bunch, and the only reason it's there is to give somewhere for a bunch of guards to run out of. Hello. So, Panchea is, I'm going to guess, probably somewhere in the Arctic or near Antarctica or something like that out in the middle of the ocean and it's like a man-made island probably arctic geoengineering yeah for that type of thing hello there what's here oh a bathroom we are very familiar with these dang some hacker was killed on the toilet I suppose it's kind of creepy faucets Excellent. Very good. Seems slightly prejudiced, though. Where's the women's bath bathroom? Or is this it? No, but there is an entrance into there. If I can just find it. Hypo stim. They're sure leaving us a lot of health, which leads me to believe that there's going to be some boss up here I'm going to have to take down. It's a good thing I got all these high-powered weapons. Okay, we have an air vent there. How do we get to said air vent? Is there an air vent up ahead, possibly? Maybe over there. Let's check it out. Ooh, locked door. 
Locked door. You are holding secrets that I would like to have. I would like to claim these secrets for my own use. Oops. Come on. Yeah, we needed that, but we Access got it. Granted. Lead skills! I got them. Let's grab a hypo stem. Another hypo stem. How many of these stack? They are stacking, right? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> I was worried if they don't stack, then we're going to have a problem. Someone's vodka supplied. There's our air vent we were looking for. Emergency protocols. And then there's a login and password, and that's just telling everyone that you need to... The promised land awaits. Is that like the guy who set off everyone's augments? That's what he added in, the promised land awaits or something, because he's like saying that we need to get rid of the augments and stuff. I don't know. Boxes! I hate you. I hate boxes. They're so annoying. They get in my way all the time. Now we're going to slow walk through these tunnels, which... If you notice, this area is extremely brightly lit without any light sources. I know there's a light here, but it actually gets darker where the light is than it does where the weird lit area is. That's something I don't like in games. Like, I don't mind them putting in a light, like a random little light inside the air vent. You know or to leave the air vent completely dark, but that just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, hold on, let's drop this for just a second. I want to... Heavy Rifle Plasma Rifle Cooling System. Okay, so let's apply... Um, if you put these on these rifles, because these rifles, if you use them too much, they'll overheat and they're not very useful to have them overheating. Uh, let's see. Let's get drunk. For science, of course. And I don't have a shotgun either. Let's drop these. Excellent. The world... It's very confusing. I shouldn't have drank that second bottle of vodka that he just found sitting on someone's desk. That probably wasn't the greatest idea. My vision... It's blurry. Oh, it's coming together. It's coming together. It's coming together? Okay. We're okay, guys. We're okay. You know, I think it'd be funny. Like, none of these dead bodies have anything. Which is kind of odd, because you'd think they'd have something, considering that... Ah! No, you're supposed to go put the fire out. That's how they work, right? You just throw them? Um, no, but I think... I think that these people would have something on them because they didn't have time to think this out. Like, this was a complete and epic surprise to everyone involved that the augmented people would just go insane. So, I think people would still have things in their pockets, and obviously the crazy people aren't looking for things, like, to steal off them. At least that's what I think. Like, that just makes sense to me, I don't know. Access granted. Excellent. Awesome. Ooh, and we have a security hub we can turn off. Uh, hold on, let me make sure I've got both of these weapons reloaded. I probably already did this. Yes. Okay, you are reloaded. And... No, 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 no. You. Are you reloaded? No, you are not. Thank you. Excellent. We're going to need them, obviously. If there is a boss battle of some sort, it's probably going to be harder than the other ones. So we're going to need uh, some high-powered stuff to get through it. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the combat rifle ammo, but that's okay. And, of course, we have a security hub here. So let's just take a quick look through here and see if maybe there's something we can turn off, like that turret that we saw.
Haha, <laughs> there we go. Got this. Got this done easy. Access granted. Although I didn't mean to use a nuke on one of those earlier. Disable turrets and camera is... Oh, turn off camera. I already turned that off, though? That's weird. Let me make sure that's off. Yes, okay, it's off. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Sure, let's go with it. Oh, yes, it's a good thing we turned off that turret. That thing would have messed us up. Look at that. Wait. Did someone get... Someone augmented get on the turret? Because they were crazy and just gun everyone down? I mean, that doesn't seem like something a crazy person would go and do, but... I suppose I couldn't put it past him. Door is broken. Ah, but we can probably hop in this window. Oh, and so these people in here... Oh, my guess is that maybe some people were trying to hold them off, so they had to pull out the turret and gun them down. And they were hiding in here. But I guess maybe they broke through. It's almost like a zombie apocalypse a little bit. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Pull out the Pepsi and just knock Disengage him down. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done. Believe me. I take no pleasure in it. Then why the heck did and you do you it? you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. You destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. Oh, here we go. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Banchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Okay, so I have to figure out... Um... Okay, so I think what he was doing is I think he was trying to give me an education right there. Because you have to sort of try to figure out how a psychological profile fits into what he's saying. Um, so I'm going to try to knock him down off his he tower. Humanity needs to be punished, Tell him that he's it? wrong. Pain is the only thing people understand. By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I, I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. Yes. <laughs> no one else has the vision to see what I've seen. The will to do what I have done. You're all too weak. Judging, but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. Okay, uh... Hmm. 
I'm not quite sure how to take that one, and I haven't really seen any personality types come out either, which is kind of annoying. I'll try this. This might be You've wrong. Convince yourself you're right, but whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All you talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. You think my methods are inhuman, Mr. Jensen? I have a feeling I did that wrong. It was my genius that created. Oh the wow, I got it right. My vision that seduced Zarif and Zhao and all the others who now feed off of it. They seek to stand on the shoulders of my research without comprehending the danger that people like you pose to mankind. I am the only one with the perspective, the insight, to know what is needed. Let's try to convince him. Um, I didn't quite see what he had, and he probably showed it off and I just wasn't paying attention because I was really trying to pay attention to what he was saying. Well, we have a one in three shot. <laughs> Um, from what I've seen, I think pressure might work on him. You know, I've always wondered about that leg brace of yours. Why the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. I don't know, that doesn't really seem to work very Unless well. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. <laughs> Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... I think I did that wrong. Luke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix it, didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... What I... I... What have I done? Oh, I think I got it right. Give me the code, Stero. Help me stop I think this. I got it right. You'll still Maybe. be in danger. Panchea's security system. Much of it is self-determined. Yes. <laughs> I did it right. First but try. But if you succeed, if these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati. The biochip. Panchea. Help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. The final countdown. Hello, Father? Okay, so we shut it down, I suppose? Yes, we did. So this was the uh, room that all the researcher peoples were in and that everyone went crazy and that we got a viewpoint of someone beating someone up almost like zombie. <laughs> the speech. Oh, that's, that's where his speech was supposed to end anyway. Because he knew everyone was going to go insane. Wow. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here. So, uh... Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Oh, snap. Okay, so we're gonna have to take down a lot of people. We might have to munch on some more of these energy bars. Actually... If we could sneak around here, we could... reduce our risk. I'd like to keep down. Ah, snap. Okay. Oh, gosh. I didn't quite expect this from this game. Oh, this is going to be bad. I can tell already. Okay. Got to take some of this. Oh, 
you. Give it a uh oh, I wasn't expecting that. Nope. Eat it. <laughs> Didn't expect to have to knock out everyone in the stupid building. <sighs> okay. So, we're gonna have to knock tons of people out. Maybe they'll... Will they have anything on them now? No. Of course not. Uh, this is gonna be annoying. But we're not gonna kill any of these people. Because it's not their fault. It's gonna knock them out. And I... I see why they've been giving us so many health supplies, because we'll probably need them. Uh... I wish, I, I really wish I had a non-lethal weapon that was, you know, faster than single shot. That's all the non-lethal weapons are. Stun gun, tranquilizer, punch, um, this peps rifle thing. They're all non-lethal weapons. I mean, they're all single shot non-lethal weapons. And the, the only thing I have really to back that up is I can punch people, which it's probably good that I have this much of uh, energy packs left. I'll try to uh, save them. Because I'll need them, but this might be difficult. Why don't the crazy people knock each other out anymore? Why are they all going after the non-crazy person? Why am I lagging? Ooh. Oh, no, no. Is this... Oh, it's an ammo capacity upgrade, but I'm definitely not taking the sniper rifle. Ah, oh, I wanted to combine it with the peps pack. That would be so nice. Um... Yeah, that could definitely use an upgrade. Or with the Peps rifle. I'm looking for alternate ways out of this facility. I'd rather not go the way everyone is. Okay. Okay, so... Ah, crap. We have to go that way to where everyone is. Way I don't want to go. Ah, uh, okay, fine. I suppose we have to. I need to be on the lookout for um, stuff. Ah, uh, yes, so wait, that's machine pistol ammo. Well, let's at least turn off any cameras that we have, possibly. There's probably going to be a turret that we could turn on to, like, gun down people, but that would count as killing, and I don't... Like I said, I'm not doing that. Two, one, zero... Yes! <laughs> I love getting it right then. Oh my gosh, yeah, it, I could have it gunned down the enemies, but I'm a nice person. At least we got a camera off, because I think if the camera gets alerted, then we're going to get found out, and that's going to totally mess us up. So I suppose it's in my best interest to not get caught. Because if I do get caught, everyone will find out. Gosh, it's like a zombie apocalypse. It's kind of creepy, actually, if you think about it. There was a little room over here. Or an extra access. I'd like to see where it goes. Let's see if maybe I can climb that ladder. Oh, they're gonna find me. Oh, excellent. Yes, okay. This works out much better than trying to mow through the tons of people with the very limited non-lethal ammo supply I have. Air vent. Let's see if we can get to the air vent. Hmm. 
Okay, so I think if I get to that air vent, it'll probably take me down closer to the security point or wherever I'm supposed to be going right now, so let's try that. I'm getting really tired of this slow walking glitch. This is freaky. This is seriously freaky. Hopefully there's some something good up here. Ah, oh, roof access. Maybe there's some goodies up here. I really need some goodies right now. More of these peps packs would be preferable, along with more energy packs of some sort. Oh my gosh, he had a rocket launcher? You know how useful that could be? Oh, um... Yeah, but that's going to be a huge item. That's going to take up so much space. I mean, it could be useful against, uh... What you call it, uh... Against, like, a boss of some sort. Is there anything up here? I wonder. I think this might have been an alternate entrance. Which, if I had been smart, I would have seen, possibly. Or... Oh! Where does that go? Sorry. I know I'm totally taking us the wrong way. You know, we already found the entrance, but there's always a possibility of goodies. Or experience. Like, do I have a Praxis kit? I actually do have a Praxis kit. Wow. Okay, um... Let's... I'd kind of like to get some more Dermatal Armor to avoid damage. That would probably be really useful. And then from here, I could buy EMP shielding, which would be kind of helpful, because I get hit by EMP a lot for some reason. I mean, maybe not a lot, a lot, but a pretty good amount of time. Where do you go, air vent? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, was this an alternate way in? Oh, you seriously could have come in this way. That's pretty neat, actually. I don't know why you'd want to come in this way. Oh, it's because you could have bypassed all that sewer stuff. It would have saved you a bit of time and a bit of heartache. Well, too late for that. Anyway, found a secret path. Yay! And we continue to pretend to be Gordon Freeman. It actually is a bit like Gordon Freeman. There's like zombies and all sorts of fun stuff. Zombies. I wonder if they can see me from here. Like, like it seems like the first stage of zombiness, like... They haven't quite turned into zombies, but given another 12 hours and they all will be zombies. Only they seem to be like zombies, but with slightly higher mental capacities. Like they can perform a little more than zombies would. It's just the pirates. Nasty It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I can't hold them anymore. Run, run! Okay, that's the door I need to get into. Let's munch on a snack bar. Get through there. Okay. Okay, we're okay now. You got anything useful? Alright. 
global warming is no joke. A safety hazard. So I guess this is, yeah, this is like um, a security station and they're just telling them stuff. Which is an excellent place for me to get some more ammo for weapons I will be using. Anyway guys, uh, we're at the end of our time here. So the security hub here uh, is where we're going to be stopping for the time being. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode and uh, will continue to join me through our last bits of Deus Ex Human Revolution. See you guys next time.